since Election Day, Osmar Cruz says that walking in downtown Chicago brings about painful emotions. The Trump Tower, he says, a tall symbol of his fear of deportation. So that fear is constant. And the Trump Tower is just a serious reminder that that could happen at any moment. Cruz is a college student studying neurosciences, but he was eight years old when he was brought to the United States illegally, settling in Chicago. He lived in the shadows until President Obama granted him and hundreds of thousands of other dreamers or young undocumented people brought to the U.S. as children temporary work permits through executive action. I look very much forward to being your president. But now, under President-elect Donald Trump, all Cruz can think about is Trump's promise to deport all undocumented immigrants and the divisive rhetoric he used during the campaign. And he points to this moment in particular on the first day of Trump's campaign. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. Why are you afraid? I am afraid because we have all been labeled, well, from my culture, the Mexican culture, we have been ra labeled as rapists, drug dealers, and killers, and that's something that we're not. Cruz says he's been intimidated near Trump Tower by Trump supporters wearing Make America Great Again hats. But when they looked at me, they gave me a really mean look, and they, that stood with me. And it told me right away that just because I'm Mexican undocumented, they already see me as less than them. Cruz joined the anti-Trump protests in Chicago and says he's speaking out for all the undocumented immigrants, an estimated 11 million people, many who are paralyzed with fear. I have heard um, some of my friends' parents who say, well, Trump won, I might as well leave now, because not only because they want to leave with dignity, but but because they live in fear of being deported or being attacked verbally, physically, or through anything just because of who they are. Not Cruz. He and his family want to stay in America and are ready to speak out and find common ground with Trump supporters. And I'm pretty sure we can find some common ground because in the end, we're all people and humans who all feel and have. And we're